Hi, my name is Ty Tessman, and today I'm going to show you how I solder in my Hobbywing XR10 Pro uh, with the G3 motor in my X-Ray XB421 car. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have the speed control mounted in the car, uh, the capacitor stuck down, and I've also re-soldered these wires to be at a 90 degree angle from the speed control, uh, just for a little bit neater finish. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you're a, a fairly experienced solder, but um, I like to do that with my car just to make it look a little cleaner. And I've also shortened the capacitor wires too, just to kind of clean everything up and make the wire as short as possible because uh, you don't want a bunch of extra wire around and possibly get stuck in something. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the first wire, the uh, motor A wire. I'm going to hold it up to roughly where I want to put it and kind of measure how far I want to cut it at. So I'm going to take a body scissors and cut it off at the right length. Then I'm going to take scissors and cut the uh, covering off. Expose a little bit of wire so I can tin it. So I'm going to get a good tin on this. Uh, make sure the whole wire is covered and has a good amount of solder on it. Then I'll also do the motor as well, the motor tabs. As you can see there, everything's tinned nice and ready to be soldered. So I'm going to solder that on, and depending on how your setup is, uh, you might need to use pliers because the wire does get kind of warm, but if you're quick about it, you can usually get away with that without. But if you need to, pliers can be handy. So the first motor wire is in. I'm going to go to the next one and do the same process again. Measure it, cut it, and cut the silicone wrap off. Once I pull the wrap off, I usually give it the wire a couple of twists just to clean up any stray wires and make sure it's nice and tight for when it tins it. So I'll go and tin it again, make sure I got a good amount of solder on there so that it can hold good. I'm going to do this one so you guys can see what's going on. I tilted the car a little bit, so I'm going to tin the motor. And then hold it till you'll be able to see when you're soldering it. It's a little bit hard to see in the video, but up close you can see the solder melting and kind of when to when both sides are melted, then that's a good amount of solder or a good amount of heat. And then just let it cool. Go with the third one, same process again, measure, cut, and strip the silicone off of it. And again, just give the wire a couple wraps just to make sure everything's cleaned up. Solder it good, or tin it good, sorry. And make sure you got a good burn or a good melt in there that uh, you're going to have enough solder to hold it on the motor because it, depending on what temperatures you're running in, this stuff can get hot, so you want to make sure you have a good solder. Wire's kind of getting a little bit hot there, but it's not too bad. So as you can see, all three wires are on there, nice and tight and clean. A little bit of wiggle room just for chassis flex. Um, I make the wire. I don't make the wire super tight or just the right amount of length. I give a little bit extra. So we're gonna go and do the battery wires now. I like to put the battery in the car, so I can tell for the length again. I'm gonna start with a negative wire. Wrap it around here so it's nice and um, has a good amount of room from the spur gear so it's not to get caught up in there. And I'll mark it and cut it off again and strip the silicone off. I like to use a little jig for my uh, bullet connector to sit in. That way it holds it tight and I don't have to worry about it moving around. So tin that. And tin the wire. 
for the bullet connectors, there's usually a little groove in it where the wire can sit, so make sure you um, put the wire aligned with the groove just so it has a little bit of a cleaner solder. Um, you can then you can have the, the joints a little bit cleaner and smaller and um, just it'll hold better too as well. So solder that in. Let it cool a little bit and then you take it out of the jig. And I'll go into the positive one. I'm going to measure it again for length. And cut it off and strip the silicone off of it. And also for the positive wire, I'm going to put a little piece of red shrink tubing on the wire. So once I put the bullet connector, I'll shrink it on near the plug. And that way, when you go to plug your car in, you're sure of the positive. You don't have to try and trace it back to the speed control. Uh, you can know that it's easy to see for when you plug your battery in. So what I mean by tinning is I'm going to put solder on the wire so that there's lots of solder within the, the threads of the wire so it can have a good hold on whatever you're soldering it to. And do the same for the bullet connector. Again, keeping um, an eye on where the groove is because once it's tinned, sometimes it can be hard to see. So kind of keep it, keep the orientation of the, the where the groove is so you can put the wire in there. Solder that in, get a nice good melt. And then now I'm going to go and put the shrink wrap close to the plug and shrink it on. This way you there's less chance of plugging something in backwards if you can see the red wire right there. So that's how I do my speed control. Uh, it's motor soldering and battery soldering. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.